All right, so last time I said I'd look a little bit at the automation inside of this, uh, this session. So in, in Audition, you have these, uh, these clip controls. And what I'm doing here, if I'll zoom in a bit, I'm actually doing two different types of automation. You have, you have um, your uh, um, linear fades here, which are part of every track, uh, um, every clip, rather. And and you can drag those. So I have a linear fade here, and then what I also have is some uh, some points that I've made on the the volume. Here's how you can do your volume automation on the clip, and leave the track volume at a set um, level. What am so, I doing? Um, once again, if we solo just the effects. can hear how that, uh, yeah, I could even drop it down here. Um, but we don't want to do that. We just want to, so you could technically draw something very, uh, very much. I, I could even follow these uh, peaks if I wanted to go for a, a sort of interesting effect. And then it's sort of like turning the volume knob, only it doesn't work for you. You can also do as as I've shown in in uh, Reaper. You can also do automation of this. You would simply come over here, and you would tell it you would tell it to write, and then see touch. I forget what touch does. Uh, I think touch allows you to touch it and alter the automation as you're going through and latch does something else. I haven't used latch very much. But let's see. Okay. So we'll undo those because I don't want <laughs> any of those effects. So what I've done here is uh, combine the, uh, the on clip fade with some uh, hand uh, hand applied automation. Just because I wanted this is a louder sound so I wanted it to be exceptionally controlled in a certain way and then this other one I just you can see I just use the on clip one. you can see how smooth it is very linear so uh, out here at the end what did we do we did some uh, some stuff <laughs> okay so what's happening in here is what you call a crossfade and Audition automatically does this when you drag two clips over each other. Uh, so does Reaper. I'm sure some uh, other DAWs also do that. And you can see I use the same linear fade and then some automation. I think this was at a silent point in the there's no music. Yeah, there's a brief pause with no music. wasn't very long. Let's hear this one by itself. Sounds almost like singing. Okay. So we come back out here. Do that. And I'm just going to zoom out of all axes. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Okay. So, while climbing, I'm always evaluating whether it's time to turn around or not. Is the danger of going on too great? Okay. Now, I'm going to see, because that sizzle, I would really like to get rid of it. Oop, eh, don't do Distractions that. Distractions of everyday life. It always makes me think. Okay. I want to get some stuff out. Uh, this layout is quite a bit different from my normal audio layout, so there's the effects rack. Okay, I want to see what happens if I so if I apply this to the clip, I may not need to do it on the uh, 
let's see. The mountain is a place to escape. No, there's like <clears throat> not many ways to get rid of that um, that effect that I have on here. Oh, um, I should mention this was uh, exported from uh, from Premiere, which is why it's all synced up. All the videos synced with uh, with the video, uh, all, all the audio is synced with the video rather, and uh, and that's how that works. Uh, maybe some other time I'll demonstrate that. Well, in another series, probably in my video series. But okay, so that's let's see. Is there anything else we can add here? That's a good question. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know that. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself, why climb a mountain? For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. In fact, it's not about being crazy at all. Okay. Yeah. I think that's about as far as I would take this. Mm. Yeah. Unless there's some other wild sounds I should be looking into. I think I'm going to want... They should be in here. Let's see if there's anything we can add in here in ambience. And of course we have this little auto preview button. No. These are all like shop ambiences. We need something nature related. Let's see. If I go like this. Then we can, uh, and we can do this and actually see what we got here. Okay, so none of these. Yeah, landing boat, traffic, wilderness. Oh, well, let's use that. <clears throat> okay, so. And let me just insert a new track, which I've forgotten how to do this in Audition because it's been a while. Track. Add audio track. Okay, Alt A. It's Control T inside of Reaper. So let's drop this in. And of course, it created a PKF file. And a place that's so simple. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. <laughs> in fact, it's not. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this in. I'm going to use a linear curve here. I've even asked myself, why climb a mountain? For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. 
I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. In fact, it's not about being crazy at all. It's, it's about taking on a huge challenge and conquering it. Your worst fears, your inadequacies. The mountain is just there, calling you, saying, Take me! Every time I climb a mountain, a sense of peace and relaxation come over me. Okay. What would be very good, um, hmm, is to have this sort of on both sides of us. See, it kind of gets... It affects us in buried. many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is... Let's call it, uh, um, uh, bird... Birds. No, bird am ambience. No. Let's name it after the, the clip that's uh, Ambience Wilderness. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's... Okay, so one more thing we need to do is route this. So here's your, your routing controls. Um, let's see, we will send it to sound effects control. And you can also have it still output to the master. I wonder, let's see, can you change how, what volume is sent to the master and what is sent to the volume infinity stereo balance? Okay, this is the send, send one. Can you add another send, I wonder, other than this? Or can you only ever do one send? I'll have to look into that. That is something I do not know. But that's okay. I, I learn as I go. So I do know the most um, uh, most of the things I need to Mm. I know what I need to know to create stuff like this. The uh, rest of it, I learn as I go. I learn new tricks every, not every time, but many Steps. times. Okay. So simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. In fact, it's not about being crazy at all. It's, it's about taking on a huge challenge and conquering it. Your worst fears, your inadequacies. The mountain is just the... Okay, uh, so that's sounding good, but I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking I don't like the track color for one thing. Uh, I wish I had more choices. Uh, but I don't. So I have to go with what I have. All right. Uh... No, I don't want to copy it into the... Uh, because I want it to stay where it is. Okay, let's see if we find anything else. Well, that won't work because there's no trees. We don't need crickets, because it's not nighttime. Mm. Okay, so we have those. These are ambient sound effects. So, let's try... We have the wind. Let's try some thunder. That could work at the right level, so let's give that a shot.
Okay, well, that's uh, 15 minutes, so we'll uh, continue this in the next one. But thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.